Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sly Slime and I am here with a little bit of an extra news information piece, whatever you want to call it, in Snapshot 17W16B, which is the one that we're in right here, there was a hidden feature that we really didn't kind of tell anybody about. And it has now been found, so let me go through exactly what that is. And as you can tell from my inventory here, it's a command related feature. Simply spoken, it is a new selector. That selector is at s. Uh, now if I just do slash say at s, I will say my own name. However, if I put that in here, say at s, and run that, nothing gets said. And the command will complain that selector at s found nothing. So the selector does different things depending on who uses it. And that is the point of the selector. As a definition, at s will match the entity that is running the command that the selector is in. That means that we will return at most one thing, can return zero things, you can still put filters on it by using selector arguments, and that way you can filter it out further. So in this command block, this command is now being run by a block, it's not being run by an entity, so it won't say anything. <laughs> but if I do slash execute at E, let's maybe say within a radius of 25 or something, and uh, have all of those entities run this command instead, then you will see that I will say my name and these llamas around here will say their name, which is nothing but llama at the moment. So that's kind of useful in that way. So there are three different reasons that we want this basically, and the primary thing here is that if you are chaining executes, so let's say that we want to check something for all for, for this entity, and then we want to check something again for that entity, then we have to repeat basically something like this. So execute at e r equals 0, c equals 1. This will do the same thing. However, if we wanted to add something here, so let's say we added tag equals foo here, then this can now suddenly match a different entity if there are two entities in the same position and the other one has foo, but this first one didn't. So this was not great, and also there's a very important consideration here. This could potentially match any entity in the entire world. That means that whenever I type at e, the game will have to go through all of the entities in the entire world and then determine if they match this thing. And if they do match this thing, it needs to sort them all by distance to the player, because that's how the sorting is guaranteed to be done for this. Now, if you have a lot of executes in your commands, that's going to be fairly inefficient. However, if you just use at s, that is never going to have to look up any entity other than the thing that is already being used as the source for the command. So this never has to look at more than one entity, and that entity is already in the context of the command execution, so it's going to be very fast. Performance is one of the big reasons to use this, but it doesn't end there. You can do some nifty things with this, things that previously required you to match NBT tags and stuff, for instance. So I have set a couple of tags on myself. Scoreboard, players, tag, me, list. So I have two tags. Those tags are lime and sliced. Let's say I want to match any entity that has both the tags lime and sliced. Now, how would I do that? No, before I would have to do a scoreboard command with an MBT match for the tags list. Well, I don't anymore. So execute at E tag equals sliced. Okay, so now we've matched anybody who has sliced. Okay. But then I can do at s, the new selector, and I can narrow this search down further. Tag equals lime. And now I can say my own name in that case. And I didn't have any button on it. So let's put a button on it and run that. And it will see that I say my name. And if we go over to this guy and give him some tags, scoreboard players, tag at e type equals not play not player and one add sliced and then maybe go and give this guy lime and then this guy gets both of them and now we run our command block again 
We see that me and that one llama say our names, but not these two guys. So we are able to perfectly match two tags on one entity using this method, and to boot, we're doing it efficiently. So that is the new at s selector in Minecraft 17w16b, and also coming to Minecraft Pocket Edition in a future update. It's part of a bigger update to commands in Pocket Edition, so it's not quite ready to go out yet, but at least, hey, it's in Java Edition right now. If you have any more questions about at s, it is my construct, so I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have in the comments section down below. And that was all really for this time. My name is Sliced Line. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye bye.